Hi, it's me, Mr. Parker. Today we're going to talk about this. It's plural s. Plural s are used whenever we have more than one thing. We will use a plural s to let people know that is more than one. So it goes like this. We might have a guy over here that looks like this. He's got big muscles. He's got a nice beard. He's got a smile, eyes. He's got a nose. He's got fancy hair. This, my friends, is a he. He. Because it's a boy. And then we have this other over here, right? Like this. Long hair. Anyways, this is a girl. Clearly, that's a girl. And if it's a girl, that would make it a she. Because girls are known as she when we're doing this. And then sometimes, guys, we'll have two people or more. And if there's two or more, it doesn't matter if they're boys and girls or if they're all boys or if they're all girls. That would make that a... You guessed it. It would make them a they. Right? Now, we also have these things here. It's a face. One face. And it was spelled like that. That's how you spell face. F-A-C-E, face. Now, some people, they might have more than one face. And if they have more than one face, they now have face is there it is right there our plural s faces lets us know that there's more than one so here's the question face now is faces and it doesn't matter if it's two or if it's a whole bunch if there's more than one it is faces like that this is faces so if we were going to write a sentence about this, we could say this. He has a face. Because he only is, he, the guy with the fancy hair and the mustache, his beard with the big muscles, he has a face. Don't forget your period. Or it could be the girl. And we would say she has a, or she has faces right there because there's more than one right she has faces now there's more than one person there's two people here so we they we would say they have faces plural and it doesn't matter we could grab anything that you see in mr parker's room or at your house like these things right here markers right now i'm holding a marker. More than one? Markers. It doesn't matter. We can pick anything that we can see. And if we have more than one of them, it's going to have the plural S. And it's going to let us know we have more than one. We'll work on that in the worksheet we're going to do next. Okay, guys?